Welcome back to Rebel Health. I'm Dr. Ellen Vora, a holistic psychiatrist based in New York City. What I want to talk about today is that there's a culture of people preparing for their weddings, right? Like if your wedding is coming up, um, people get in shape, people do a package with a personal trainer. Um, everyone seems to get in kind of like tip top, best shape of their life in time for the wedding. Men and women, everybody. Um, and then everyone has these cut arms, and they feel so good, and they fit into this dress. Um, and it's good. I support people getting in shape. I think that one thing that has always made me a little uncomfortable is that there's no mentality of getting in shape for the baby. Like for when you want to start to start trying to get pregnant, um, nobody's thinking about their physical health. And I don't mean get in shape like lose weight and have cut arms or like washboard abs in time for a baby, but I mean readying your body for a state of optimal health. Uh, fertility, getting pregnant, cultivating a healthy baby, um, cultivating a healthy postpartum period, this hinges on your physical health. And you want to be uh, not inflamed. You want plenty of good nutrition. You want a surplus of good nutrition. So you have some to give to the baby and to keep some for yourself. Um, and I think that you also even want some core strength heading into that. You want to be able to hold a natural squatting position um, to help with labor. And so I think that it's the fact that we get in shape for weddings, it's almost like, is that just vanity and it's nothing about actual health? Because um, I think there's not as much vanity when it comes to having a kid, but you do want to ready your body for that um, so that you can have the healthiest pregnancy, the easiest conception period, the relatively more smooth labor, although is it ever really smooth? Um, but you really want to ready your body. So we all get getting ready for the photos for your wedding. Start thinking about getting in shape for having a kid. Hope that's helpful and we'll see you next time on Rebel Health.